All right, Ken, thanks. Our big story this morning after a seven and a half hour meeting, including five hours of public comment, school board members voted to mandate the vaccine for teachers and staff. The trustees capped off a long and loud meeting with a five to one vote to mandate the vaccine. Fox 5's and Karika Zuka joins us live now with how that decision went down. Happened while most of the valley was sleeping in Karika. Yeah, hey, good morning, guys. So, yeah, that meeting was very long. Like you said, seven, over seven hours, with most of that time being used for public comment, about five hours. And, of course, you can imagine so many different opinions. But I will say a lot of people were against this mandate. Many CCSC educators did speak out against it, with one teacher of 17 years saying she wasn't anti-vaccine. She just was pro freedom of choice. A speaker who was for the vaccine mandate, which should mention again, was the minority, says the fight has become an issue of civil liberty and religious freedom, and that over 600,000 people no longer have those freedoms. A mom took the stand to say she would pull her child out of the district if the mandate were to pass. Now we heard from trustees right before the vote, and this is what they had to say. I'm not a I'm not a health expert. I'm an expert in sifting through information and determining which sources are the most credible at this moment in time. And I recognize when somebody has expertise in a field like epidemiology that I don't have. And I don't have countless hours to do this research. I trust the scientific community. There is a world where I would support this if if we didn't have such a severe staff sh shortage, if we hadn't recently paid the most experienced principals and department leaders to leave, if we had a way to rehire staff later, if we had incentivized, if we had communicated better, if we knew that a mandate would make all the difference, if there was a clear plan and a contingency plan in case that plan failed, Now, again, that mandate did pass five to one. Trustee Daniel Ford, who was the second person you just heard from, was the only person that voted against it. Now, the process isn't over just yet. Superintendent Jara does have to lay out a plan, and it does have to be put into writing and then finalized. So it, it also should be mentioned that this is for staff and not for students. I'll send it back to you guys. Hey, and Kirika, so some of the numbers we've been receiving, the, about 65% of CCSD staff already vaccinated, which means 35% is not. That's a big chunk of people. And we've heard some teachers this week come out and say, if they pass this, I'm going to quit. And I have a lot of my teaching friends who are going to quit. Uh, so how is the district going to handle this? Do they have uh, something in place? Like, what are the next steps if they do see a lot of teachers walk off the job? Well, that's still to be determined, but what we do know is that September 7th, there is a planned walkout. So it's definitely because that's something that has been a concern because, you know, we already have a shortage of teachers in the district. So we're, we're going to have to wait and see and how that all works out. So that would be next Tuesday, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah, that would be next Tuesday. All okay. right. Thank you, and Kirika. A lot of stuff to cover still. Stay with Fox 5 for all these developments.